Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I need to update you guys on some very, very important information that has been leaked on the subreddit today and you guys are going to be pretty surprised on what's been going on. So with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and just fire up the subreddit. So today, as you guys can see, the first thing that is on is the iOS 10.2.1 version is signed and now being able to update for your iDevice. So going on this link on Redmond Pi right here, we do see that the IPSW links for 10.2.1 is in fact able to be downloaded so you guys can update your guys' iDevice to 10.2.1 and it will be available as an over-the-air update as well. So this being said guys, the iOS 10.2 version will not be signed in a very, very, very short while so I do recommend you guys to save your guys' SHSH blobs but I'm going to get to that in a little while. So. The next news that we have coming up is that Pangu is still alive and we know that they are in fact still going into the iOS system and looking for flaws for exploits and anything in that nature. So it's right here, this Redditor had posted a link to an Apple support page which basically shows what exploit they had found in the iOS 10.2 system which is now patched in 10.2.1 which is probably why they released this version as well. So this is really good news guys so Pangu is alive so if you guys are on anything lower than 10.2 I recommend you guys stay in there for right now but like I said before in my last right here you guys want to save your guys' SHSH blobs for your particular iDevice. Now the next thing that I want you guys to know is that the Snapchat connection error is back according to coke pokes so if you guys have an update for snapchat i recommend you guys to stay where you guys are at do not upgrade to version 10 like he says because there are users as well saying that there are tweaks being detected on their iDevice since snapchat is upgrading their services for third-party plugins so like i said if you guys are on 10 right now go ahead and downgrade back to the last version using app admin which you guys can install on Cydia as well which will allow you to downgrade from the app store so the last thing like I said guys is you guys want to go ahead and watch my video right here on how to save you guys this SHSH blobs from your iDevice this is the fastest way possible because the website right now on desktop is in fact down but this one is working because I had used it a couple minutes ago just to save my SHSH blob for my 6s which I just got and I did not save my SHSH blob for yet so if you guys want to go ahead and check out this video the card will be on the top right hand side of this video right now so go ahead and watch that on your desktop or wherever you guys want just make sure you guys save your SHSH2 blob for iOS 10.2 before the signing window is closed. I repeat guys, save your SHSH blob because apparently there will be a downgrade tool or upgrade tool for you guys to be able to use these SHSH2 blobs for Prometheus and hopefully it works perfectly fine without having to have any bugs like the touch ID bug that was said in one of my last videos. So guys, that's pretty much it. I just want to update you guys on what's been going on in the jailbreak subreddit right now. Thank you guys again for listening. So if you guys want to leave a like down below, it's very, very appreciative. Go ahead and leave a like. Also subscribe to get more news just like this in the future as well as follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to get news like this as soon as it happens and I will go ahead and tweet that out. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.